was the sun, and the sun gazed upon a land, and chose it from among the others. And the land grew and became an empire, destined to be the cradle of civilization, and known as the mother of the world. A land of legend and mystery. A story to tell. A world to live. Gift of the Nile. Guardian of the past. Capturing the hearts of people. All over the world. Get inspired to start your own story. King Snefru was the son of King Huni and Queen Mirisa and the first, and he also was the follower of King Huni. And about the length of his reign, King Snefru ruled for about 24 years according to the Turin Canon. But according to a stableman, he ruled for about 44 years or 48 years. <laughs> Hi my friends, how are you doing? I hope you are okay. Here today we are in one of the most famous places in Egypt. It's Dahshu. Dahshu is situated 20 kilometers south of Cairo and 11 kilometers south of Sa'ar. So today Dahshu, it's one of the most famous places. Why? Because Dahshu owns a lot of complexes belong to the Old Kingdom and the Middle Kingdom. Middle Kingdom like the pyramids belong to one of the most famous king, Ibn Hatta II, the Black Pyramid over there. And also Ibn Hatta II and Ibn Hatta III and Ibn and also, it's Dahshu owns one of the most famous pyramids, belong to one of the greatest king, it's Snefru. This, this pyramid belongs to him, it's Red Pyramid, one of the first two pyramids in Egypt. And also on the other side, we have here the Bent Pyramid, the first one or the first two to build the two pyramids. So today, we are here to take one of you to make two around this place, around this area, to make explanation for the internal and external for this pyramid. So, today, let's go to have fun with our information. A short distance to the north of the Bint Pyramid of the King Snefru, we will find the second pyramid in this plateau. This pyramid it was called the Red Pyramid or the Northern Pyramid. And this pyramid it was not complete till the 15 years of the reign of King Snefru. And this pyramid, as we said before, it was called the Red Pyramid or the Northern Pyramid. Northern Pyramid because it was situated to the north of the Bent Pyramid and the Red Pyramid because the stone it was used in this pyramid we found the reddish color of this stone as we see in front of us. This pyramid it was regarded as the first true pyramid it was found in Egypt and the most of the famous thing in this pyramid we will find the angle of this pyramid. The angle of this pyramid it was the flat angle of inclination or the very flat angle of inclination. The old angle it was used in the previous 
pyramid we found it was a measure 52 and these pyramids are only one it was take the angle of 43 and uh, 43 degree this degree it was used in the upper part of the bent pyramid and when this pyramid it was complete it was take the height of uh, 343 feet and in the base of it we found each one or each side it was measured 722 in this pyramid the entrance is situated 94 uh, feet above the ground level and it was situated in the north Okay, my friends, now we are here in the east side of the Red Pyramids to speak about or to consult about the Thronian complex belonging to the King's Nephew Pyramids. So, here we are in the front of the Mochi Temple. As we can see, it's all in ruins, only the capstone. Capstone is one of the most important elements for belonging to the pyramids, supposed to be in the peak of the pyramids. But because of the weather and some the bad weather or something like this, it's make it all over from up, straight up, put it down, and the expert to put it down. But the funeral complex is already consists of two parts, the Mochi Temple and the Valley Temple. The Valley Temple for this pyramid, we, till now we didn't excavate it and we don't, no one knows any, about it anything. So only we have the Mochi Temple and as you can see it's all known. So that's all what we have about the funeral complex for the Pent Pyramid or Dirt Pyramid for the King's Nephew. After we started our tour inside and outside the, the pyramid, we should uh, say that uh, this pyramid didn't reach uh, this shape uh, like this, where the king made it uh, like this. Uh, there is a steps, a development steps that happened to to see this pyramid in this shape. First of all, the ancient Egyptian uh, made their bears uh, in a pit and put the, the mummy. Uh, in a couching position like this. After that, the next development or next step, uh, they made the body uh, go straight or, or braid straight in a rectangular shape. But the step after this, they made a small uh, step over it until um, uh, the, the great architect Imhotep made the, the great complex of, of King Jesser and made the, the step pyramid. After that, King Snefru uh, made a lot of uh, developments until he reached uh, this, this type of, of complete pyramid. This is me inside the, the, this sloping corridor. Uh, as you can see, it's a very, very long one. Uh, it's around uh, 307 feet. Uh, the the angle of this of this sloping corridor is about 27 uh, 27 de degree. Um, uh, I want to tell you some, something. Uh, the weather is very hot here. Okay, uh, let's go through with this uh, corridor to a long passage. Okay, come on. Short passage. Uh, we can go to the second chamber. This second chamber. We're identical to the first one with a proper roof and a plain, uh, uh, plain wall. Uh, we should notice uh, something. This room is under the apex of the pyramid. The apex of the pyramid is the, the center line, uh, which all the pressure of the whole pyramid centered uh, on this on this uh, on this line. So uh, it is very good. To see this um, this room alive and preserved till now. After that, we can see um, the staircase, a modern staircase, uh, which leads to a uh, third chamber. Uh, this third chamber uh, is above the uh, above the the ground uh, by about uh, some feet. Uh, okay, let's go and see uh, what we. What we have there. This is the burial chamber. Uh, we didn't uh, find anything here. Uh, it's only uh, a plain, purple roof uh, room. It is above uh, uh, the other the other rooms, the other two uh, chambers. Uh, the weather is very hot here, and the smell is very bad. Okay, 
Thank you uh, from inside the pyramid and meet you soon. Fantastic. How was the journey? Nice. <laughs> you enjoy it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> لا وما خفوا شوية بس الأول عن الأول وتحب تقول لي السياح والناس المصريين موجودين هنا ألف مرحب بالسياحة والمصريين إخواننا ومتفل وأربعة عشر كمان أيوة شكرا مع شكرا مع Everything's okay, but I'm a little bit tired <laughs> because of the, the tour into the pyramids. How it was? It was okay. It was uh, very fascinating. Uh, the architecture was very, very great. The big uh, tombs inside yes. there. Yeah. Very great. It's very nice. It's very nice. It's first time in Egypt. Yes, it was my first time in Egypt. Yeah, first yeah. visit. Uh, what do you like? I like it. It's very uh, fascinating. The uh, all the um, Athar yeah, and yeah, the yeah. Ma'abid and. Or things like this. It's very fascinating. These these old ruins, these uh, pharaonic Chronicles. remnants. Nice. It's really. Sure, yeah. uh, but it's first pyramid you can see here. It's first one. No, no, uh, it's not the first one. I've visited the pyramids of Giza uh, two times. <laughs> oh, two times. Yeah, it's yes. so good. Yeah. And uh, this uh, then after Giza we visited this uh, area here, and we also looked at the Bent Pyramid. Bent Pyramid, yes. And now in this area, this is the second pyramid. The second pyramid. It's very yes. nice. It's very nice. But it's supposed to come back again to Egypt. To yes, Egypt yes. It's very nice. Okay, thank you very much, my friend. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, in Arabic, I love the Mas. I love the Mas. One more time, one more time. I love the Mas. I love the Mas.